Hey there, it's Perry with Paper Grabbing Threads. Today is part two of Paper Florist Flowers. I'll be doing watercolor blossoms. Let's get started. Load up your cutting plates with the Paper Florist dies and die cut multiples. I'm using Blackberry Bliss and Moody Mauve for my first set of flowers. Begin by inking an acrylic block with both colors and then add drops of water using a water painter. Cover each petal with the water. Then drop in the Moody Mauve from the center outward. Clean your brush by squeezing the barrel of the water painter. Then pick up the Blackberry Bliss and add it on top of the Moody Mauve. For the rose petals, I'm using Bubble Bath and Fresh Freesia. The method is the same. The two ink colors on opposite sides of the block and water in the middle. I'm using just Berry Burst on these next two sets of petals. Adding ink twice on the first style and skipping the water wash on the second set for a deeper color. I watercolored both sides of these strips with Lemon Lime Twist. These stems are getting a double layer of wild wheat. Lots of water lightens up the berry burst for this batch of flowers. And plenty of water with the wild wheat turns it into a very pale yellow. And a tiny dab of lemon lime twist in the center of the small flowers finishes these off. Once all the petals are dry, I use the ball end of the Take Your Pick tool to shape the petals, applying pressure from the center outwards. The foam piece is from the clear black storage caddy. I add more pressure or lines depending on the size of the petal. And a little poke in the center makes the petals stand up. Then I use a bone folder held at 45 degree angle to slightly curl the edges of each petal. This dial gets just a little pressure down the middle of each petal. For the rose petal, I'm using a bone folder just on the top left and right corners and very gently breaking down the fibers. For half of the petals, I'm putting a dab of glue on the tab at the bottom and just slightly pulling it over. The remaining half, I'm pulling the tab over almost all of the way. This makes the petal stand up taller. To build the rose, start with a plain base. Using six of the flatter petals, add a drop of glue on the back and place them around in a circle. For the sixth petal, tuck the left hand side under the first petal. Use six of the more upright petals for the second layer. Offset these petals with the previous layer and have the point closer to the center. Don't be concerned if they don't stick very well. It will become actually a good thing once we get to the sixth petal. Tuck the left edge of the sixth petal under the first petal in the second layer. You may need to maneuver all of the petals just a little bit and then press in the center until the glue sets. After rolling one of the stamens, I add a second layer. I placed a dimensional in the center of each flower. Then I fanned out the edges of the stamen with my thumbs. I used a pencil on the bottom of the stamen to gently push up a little dome. Then I filled the bottom with glue and set it on top of the dimensional. Offset the petals of the little ones on top of the big ones. Cut the stamens in half. Roll. Glue and fluff.
For the mini tulip-like flowers, place a dot of glue at the base of three of the petals and pick up with the base. After a little more shaping, adhere the small petals to the large petal. Fluff the lemon lime twist stamens and use a dimensional to pop them up. Crisscross the petals and do the same treatment for the stamens as the last flowers. Use the ball tip on the take your pick tool and push down the centers of all the little yellow flowers. Use in color dots for the centers. Find more details over on my blog at. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye!